The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, wherewith our Lord has called to tell, to look upon the brass in Brahma of his food. When the disciples came to him and asked to eat the food, our Lord said, I have a food which you are not aware, which you are not perceiving it. And he asked them to open wide your eyes and see. It is not four months that the harvest should come. But already the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Today the harvest for the knowledge of Bible doctrine is where is care. But rather harvest of apostasy is to the maximum. And the people are not capable of looking by opening their enlightenment of the spiritual eyes to understand that this harvest to be taken care should be requiring the bona fide gift that they have to pray unto the Lord to give a right pastor teacher to the right congregation so that they can in return yield the exact fruit wherewith the Lord has chosen for them. So that the laborers can come and cut down this apostasy and once again reinculcate the process of exegesis, isagogical and categorical explanation of the word over the dispensing technique of dispensations into the pulpits. And do you know what our Lord said? I have come here to do the one who has sent me. And my meat is to do the will, telema, the perfection which is pleasing, the perfection of his operative will in us. And this telema wherewith our Lord calls, he tells it has to go through one thing that is kai, the copulative conjunction again. The will of the Lord demands to be perfecting and maturing. That's why Apostle Paul was very pure to the point when he said, to the close of realization of the truth, I have done that which was my will to be done as Lord wanted me through the entire counsel of Jehovah. I have not even shunned to declare, but rather I am pure from your blood. That was the will of the perfection and the maturity what Apostle Paul told in Acts 26 and 27. In Acts chapter 20. Can we tell today what is our maturing? At least we know what is the will of God for us. Ananias was been sent to open the eyes of Saul, turning out to become Paul. Until the three days son Ananias could come, Paul didn't even touch or eat the water. He was just waiting, 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 so that the scales of his eye could fall down, and he wants to know and to go work. And when once he was being opened with his eyes, where did he go? He went to Arabia to be trained up, and he came back teaching the word of the Lord for the perfection. He knew what was the will of God now because he has seen in the road to Damascus the vision of the risen Christ. And that was the will. And what did he do now? He went on for perfecting, preparation. Today, you, are, you as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do know the will of God. It will not be made known through vision or dreams or not Lord talking to you. It will be through the Bible. Every believer's will in the sight of the Lord to work according to his good pleasure is to reach the status of maximum glorification of Christ by reaching to the spiritual maturity, by, spe by reaching to the unique spiritual life, the mystery doctrine of the church age. By executing this great protocol plan of God, passing down through three stages, spiritual self-esteem or spiritual autonomy, and then by looking at the spiritual maturity. That is the great work which Lord has done for us, bestowed upon us. That is the will of God the Father. For unbelievers, none should perish. For believers to come to the knowledge of Christ, 1 Timothy 2, 4. And to this will, what is required, a copulative conjunction, chi, which has to go with the perfecting and maturing. Teleos in the Greek, for the perfection. Perfection according to his will. Perfection according to his work on this earth. Perfection as Apostle Paul waited to come to Anania so that he can get out of the scales and go and get to get the edification complex done in Arabia, in Damascus. 
What is our perfection today? Where a pastor teacher stands, he doesn't even know the true definition of a pastor and teacher. That copulative conjunction chi, the grand village sharp role. And they want to claim going around five ministry, fivefold ministry of the Holy Spirit. And the people who stand in the pulpit do not even know that whether they are having a gift of an evangelist or a gift of a pastor teacher. Just coming and standing for making some money in the pulpits. Just coming and standing for trying to have authority over them so that his daily needs of his lust patch into the belly could be satisfied. That's what we find pastors, independent churches, no one to hold account, no one to ask in them. Again rises divisions. He says, I have planted the church, my father has planted the church. So why will I give you the value of committee? I'm independent. How much offerings I'm going to get through tithes? I'm going to keep it. Who are you to ask? That's where the denominations will rise. That's where the cults will come. The root cause for all evil is money. No obedience. No proper accounts. That's why the Brethren Assembly has come out with a plan. No hierarchy. Some extension good only for this purpose. But when it has been comparing to the Lord, pastor, teacher, gift, a bona fide one is essential, which is a must. Without the bona fide gift of a pastor, teacher, no education under the sun can cause you to communicate the truth. To open your eyes to understand and to look what is the harvest of apostasy today in the church age. And why there are very few laborers. And why the pastor teachers have to be prayed on behalf of the believers. So that the believers can pray to the Lord to send those pastors who are coming out from the heart of Christ. To feed you with knowledge and with thorough understanding to use your intelligence, to use your wisdom. Today, where is the knowledge, as per Jeremiah 3.15, to send shepherds after the own heart of our Lord, who shall fill you with knowledge and with understanding? Where are they today? Because you believers have failed to pray for such kind of a pastors. Because you want the pastors like people, like priests. You want to go with the slogans, idle shepherds. First of all, you do not know what is the will of Lord God the Father. And how you will be going on for perfection or maturing to do that will. And you need to finish it. And that is where today many people have failed to come to the ministry. They come to the ministry only for money. They come to the ministry, the last patterns to be fulfilled. Now no one will come to the ministry so that he can make each and every believer for the perfection and completion. As Apostle Paul told in Colossians 1, 25-29. One and brethren may be good. No hierarchy, so that no way the funds could be used wrong. But the other end, the great failure on the brethren is, no one is accountable to take for the perfection as such. Who is capable of leading you to the perfect, complete knowledge in Christ? That can be done only by the pastor teacher who has been given over you as an in-charge. And that if pastor teacher works for the teen charge with greater accumulation of authority without being humble enough to serve them then he's a failure he's not fit he has to be humble enough to serve the congregation rather than serving his own belly that is where people fail to learn the word of the Lord today. That is where the people fail to understand the importance of Bible doctrine today. That is where the people fail to know the responsibilities laid down upon the shoulder of a pastor teacher to work it effectively. And isn't it a great pathetic condition in our midst that we are going through such kind of a congregations where there are no real significance to be to do the will of God followed by the perfection and maturity into the word of Christ? It's a great pain, dear brethren, great pain because you are destroying the body of Christ who have to construct a living stone upon each and every brick by the thorough edification of the soul through the knowledge of Bible doctrine what are you doing? you are destroying it you have become a stumbling block you are holding the keys and you are not allowing others to come in with the tag of pastor teacher for you which you are not a real pastor teacher at all a fakery if you are a real pastor teacher, do you know what are your responsibilities? Do you know what, why it has been given only for a male believer? Do you know what are the privileges given to you? And what is the life for you? Temporary sacrifice in each and everything. 
the contemporary of your age believers who have learned and thoroughly educated like you they will be enjoying their life by earning money and you don't have time to enjoy it. you know why it is not that you cannot earn money it is because it demands a temporary sacrifice to steady to steady to steady without a thorough preparation in the word of the lord you cannot become a sacrificing pastor And that's what our Lord said to the disciples in John 4.34. My meat is to do the Lord's will. The one who has sent me. And how we can do that? By eating the physical food. By doing the will of Lord God the Father. And fasting is what? You don't have time to eat the food. Because you are thoroughly preparing the subject. That is fasting today. Who is fasting today? Everyone are feasting. Feasting weekly once in the sermons. Telling that they are great. Telling that they are great. That they can do this, that they can do that. Telling them some sure of morality every day. Rather than making them to realize into the reality of Bible doctrine through the proper exegesis of the word. Through the proper isagogical study, categorical study, and through the dispensing technique of dispensations in rightly dividing the word of the law. I think if they will really know the responsibility of a pastor teacher, none would desire that gift. Because it goes with it such kind of a great responsibility. It goes with it such kind of a great pain. Standing at the master's feet. Trying to show forth master. Because you are speaking the words of the Lord, not of your own words. And how great you need to be to stand at master's feet, you imagine. And that's not possible if you take it without the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. What are we? We are an earthen vessel being contained in the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And you are standing in master's feet. You cannot stand. You need to kneel down. And ask Lord God, the Father, if it is his will to speak his words when we are faithfully prepared. Prepared from the original languages of the scriptures by temporary sacrifice of your life. It is not for a pastor to have authority by jumping, dancing, doing this, doing that. The real work of a pastor is to do the will of God the Father who has sent the meaty for him is to do his work. Provided by the copulative conjunction Kai for the perfection. To do his will, you need to be perfectly mature. And to become perfectly mature, temporary sacrifice is required. And where you are going to perfectly mature is none other but the knowledge of Christ. So that you can see the harvest being full of apostasy, cut short them and give them the reality of the word. And exemplify to the maximum glorification of Christ, the maximum believers, to the perfecting in the knowledge of the word. The prayer apostle Paul prayed for us in Ephesians 1, 15 through 17 and 17 through 19 the great prayer of all time so which way dear brother and you want to go you decide we shall continue tomorrow with our head bowed and eyes closed the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ without hope and without eternal life in order to telling to Lord God the Father that they believe upon Christ that is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth this eternal truth for is for very simple believing Christ you shall be saved and whereas for the believers the great matter is to search the scriptures diligently investigate the scriptures diligently so that the word of the Lord can have number one priority in you and you be according to the will of Lord God the Father by the perfection and the maturity in the word so that you should not be ashamed when you appear at the judgment seat of Christ that you have done and you had confidence in the flesh but rather you should not be ashamed and tell Father I had confidence in thy spirit and I have done thy work thy will which you have done either it is a pastor teacher or an evangelist or a gift of helps or mercy or it is an administration or any other thing which Lord has appointed for you to do you need to do it effectively to the praise of his glory provided by using in the ministry of the spirit because anyone who is not of the spirit of the Lord is no way Christian to be called as per Romans 8 9 and whereas for the believers, pastor teachers, the great merit is to carry Sothon Logan, herald the word in season or out of season, so that the Dhamma Troma witnesses, wherever they have been called, he has to be applicable for that. The indwelling Trinity, Bible in our hands, and the entire Bible doctrine, and the hearers being our witnesses of a Dhamma Troma. If there are no witnesses to hear, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But what is our duty? Our duty is to not worry about the softies by the fellow man ostracism, or by the ecclesiastical displeasure or by the trends towards pertaining your income will be cut off when you tell the truth who the hell cares for income ministry is not for money ministry is for glory of lord to tell the truth no matter what only the truth only the truth and for the truth 
So ponder over these things. It is better to stay in a simple man in a, in a simple cottage with a menial food rather than to stay in a big mansions and eat royal food without Christ in us. So why do you want to exchange the glory of Lord to a lie? Rather be a person who loves the word of the Lord more dearly than his physical breath that he stays alive on this earth. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall con and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge sovereign Lord. We thank thee to open our eyes so that we could see the harvest of apostasy and cut short them because apostasy begins in the pulpits and apostasy can be ended in the pulpit when a pastor teacher rightly divides the word of truth. To this section, we pray the one who are hearing to the state in the world, let them be blessed to do the real work of a past teacher because it is a very blessing for us to do thy work in thy ministry to thy praise of thy glory. For we ask it in Christ's name, Sovereign Lord. Amen.